Let's talk billionaires. We were talking about them the other day, and we have the Forbes list, so let's get into it. They published its annual list of worldwide billionaires, and Elon is at the top with a net worth of, any guesses? I think I saw this. Um, $219 billion? Brian? I'll go a little higher and say uh, three fifty. Adam, you should have recused yourself. $219 oh. billion. Dollars. The Tesla and SpaceX CEO increased his wealth nine D minus, sold. student. D yeah. minus. D minus, because I couldn't do the work. Well, somebody should have yeah. said something. I just saw it on the news a couple days ago, but... The fact that you keep bringing up your D minus student is not good because you can remember things. You should have done well. <laughs> You're right. You have the ability to remember things you see. I should have excelled. Uh, yeah, $219 billion. Uh, Jeff Bezos, <laughs> way behind. A pittance, a crumb. All right, let's One, see. 186? 171. Oh, man. Well, think about before the divorce, though. Oh, oh, yeah, that's right. The rest of the top 10 includes the names you expect. Bill Gates at 129, Warren Buffett at 118, Mark Zuckerberg fell out of the top 10, is now 15th. Oh, wow. Poor guy, Six, 67 billion. And the list is full of celebrities like Rihanna because she has she's gangbusters with clothing and makeup. Oh, so and she's worth multi-billion dollars? Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, worth 1.7, thanks oh. to Fendi and Savage X Fendi. Billion. She, billion. Yeah. Well, She's also her. the first billionaire from Barbados. <laughs> Other celebrity billionaires uh, are Steven Spielberg, Oprah Winfrey, Jay-Z, Tyler Perry, Kim Kardashian, and Kanye West. And we'd only open this society up to people of color so they could come here. Who are the last five? <laughs> yeah, we have uh, Oprah and Jay-Z and Tyler Perry and Kanye West. We got it's the It's the systemic racism that holds these people back. Yeah, it sounds mm. like it. Doesn't do anything to Jay-Z. Um, Think about I, how rich he would be. Oh, that's right. Boy. Oh, now that's, that's a good that's point. That's what we're talking about. That's a good point. I, I have some breaking Imagine news. Imagine if he looked like Neil McDonough. Oh, my oh God. Oh, my God. What could he do? We'd be working for him. Unstoppable. Right. Remember the other day when you were talking about feeding a horse a carrot with your mouth mm -hmm. and how charming you thought that was? Yes. Well, well obnoxious. And, well, the rule is if that's the way you do it all the time, fine. Right. But not only in front of people. Cameras, yeah. right. right. Well, our sort of resident horse expert, this amazing listener named Mindy Brogdon, who runs a horse farm and, and does mm -hmm. all this great stuff, she had thoughts, her ears perked up when, because, you know, every time we talk about horses, she, she weighs in. Mm -hmm. And I wanted you to know that she said anyone, yes, anyone who feeds a horse mouth to mouth should be slapped. Oh. I don't allow hand feeding. There's logical reasons. It's just plain dangerous. If you're a teen girl feeding a carrot from your mouth to a horse, okay, you're done with daddy issues. Outside of that, I'll slap you. And I said, is it dangerous because the horse could bite your face off? I don't know. Like, what's dangerous about it? She says, yes, actually. Once a horse bites and really gets away with it, they become dangerous. I've put one horse down because I couldn't fix the problem. Also know of a horse that uh, bit and busted a fake titty. <laughs> Sending owner into emergency surgery. Wow. So, wow. yeah, don't get used to that because they could go crazy. They I'm, could go horse. I'm a little weird around the big horse teeth. I, I They do grab yeah. at a time. Yeah. And I'm always weird when you're trying to pet them and you're the putting muzzle. your hand up. And, yeah. Yeah. And they their teeth don't, they're not sharp. You know, like they're fun Mr. Ed teeth. They're almost huge. kind of the people-esque yeah. teeth, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. All right. So, anyway... Keep your fake titties and your hands and your mouths away. Wow. Okay, now we know. Thank you, Mindy. Um, Cracker Jill, that is <laughs> yeah. the new ad campaign, and maybe Christy has thoughts. I should have reached out to her. PepsiCo is putting a new twist on a 125-year-old Cracker Jack. Uh, that's the snack, of course, at most of the baseball games. It's called Cracker Jill. It has new characters, new packaging. The rebranding of the stadium snack is an attempt to promote the accomplishments of women in sports. What do you think in the average box of Cracker Jacks? There's got to be a peanut count. Now, oh. They would go, it's like, oh, it's this much every, every, every cubic inch or yeah. something like that. But there's got to be a number. Yeah. Like uh, De Niro and Casino. With yeah. The blueberries. Oh, the, the blueberries yeah. and muffins. There's yeah. got to be, it's over 10. 10 peanuts or 10%? 10 peanuts. Per box. First yeah, standard. It's, 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 it's under 25, Oh, I yeah. Think. It's not chock it's full not of peanuts. Many. It's at 13, 19. I like 13. I'll, go, I'll, I'll take yeah. 12 and a half. 13. As an 15. average. It's the best goddamn peanut you'll ever find in a box. Oh, it's all glazed. It's all glazy really? and gooey, and it also <sighs> offers a nice counter. 
argument to whatever you have been eating <laughs> with, with the popcorn. Yeah. Kaylin, see if something, I'll see your red vines. <laughs> something exists, but I don't even the ratio. Higher. I'll go like 16 maybe. I'm seeing here that there are nine peanuts in every ounce of oh, machine that's... packaged cracker jack. Well, how many ounces well, to, but a, how many to a box? Ounces in the box, yeah. Okay, well, while he's finding that out, um, there are also, there's a donation component to this. Um, Major League Baseball stadiums throughout the season, uh, there, there's a, if you buy basically the $5 box, they're going to donate to Women's Sports Foundation. PepsiCo also throwing in 200000 And a new song comes with it. Um, the singer Normani is singing Take Me Out to the Ball Game, switching up the lyrics, and you can call the out, but this is the song. I know, Kaylin's working overtime over there. Me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and crack a chill. No one can stop you if you have the will. So let's root. Is it cracker chills or cracker chill? Cracker chill. But isn't it cracker jacks? Yes. Why not chills? I've seen, yeah. I've seen more disabled people in commercials in the last four years than my. And I grew, you're disgusted. I'm disgusted. I went more prosthetics, you more veterans disabled. I, Blade Runner. I grew up. All there was was Ironside, and he was faking it. That's all we had was a fake guy Wait, in a what wheelchair. What about uh, fucking hooks? What about the, uh, the detective? Mil- the mil- oh, the- JJ Arms. His arms. <laughs> he wasn't on TV though. He had a doll. He had an action figure about it, him. It is in fact Cracker Jack singular. Oh, Cracker Jill. Oh, singular. Who knew? It is not Cracker Jacks. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because you'd go. That guy's a Cracker Jack when you're yeah. talking about some young kid right. who's good at Little League baseball. Or and something. now I think about it. Why peanuts and Cracker Jacks? Peanuts are in the Cracker Jacks, bitch. Buy me yeah. some peanuts and Cracker Jacks. Yeah. Okay. Although well, I would do that. Yeah, me no. too. Like I did Kalen's getting to the bottom of the one ounce for whatever thing. Uh, yeah, it, the <laughs> one box Cracker Jacks is one ounce. So That's it's just it? nine per. I don't think it's that uh, like hard and fast. There, it's people kind of studying and saying this this box had this many, this one had that many. Because so we're it's, averaging out. Okay, but well, yeah, we, it's we not a certain. It's only nine. Number. You gotta ask Mr. Owl. <laughs> one, two, a three. three? <laughs> so maybe a little more, but not not that wow. much. Wow. You know, when I really hit it big, I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna go to Costco. Yeah. I'm gonna get a big pallet. Of Cracker Jacks, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna hire. You know, we we're talking about Snoop has a joint roller. Yeah, just hire a guy to pick out the peanuts. Oh, and just put them in a bowl, separate them out. That's when you know you made it. Yeah, yeah like like you ever try to make honey out of honeysuckles? No. Oh, you didn't. You, you had a semi decent childhood. <laughs> we, we had honey. We had a we had a big bush of along the school fence for uh, yes. Colfax. There were the weirdos elementary. who used to suck the honey out of the honey sauce. Yes. You can? Yes. And I, not, I never did. <laughs> it, it's it's like it, tired of the fast pace world, <laughs> uh, adrenaline surged world of stringing popcorn mm-hmm. for Christmas. And how. You can go to pulling honeysuckles. You get less than a drop per unit, but uh, all along Colfax Elementary, the oh. backside of the school, the, there was a vine, a bush, or something growing. You just pick them and like pull them out. I mean, it's just Dogs one of those. Pee on that. It's just one of those summer <laughs> things. We'll go up a little higher this on the is vine. Charming. Look, we had nothing. Yeah, we had nothing else. When to do. you were at Colfax, did they have the little farm in the back? Back then? No, we were. I was in the asphalt era. Oh, th- it's farmed out. At now. some point, they figured out kids. Baking on asphalt yeah. and playing no every good. imaginable sport on asphalt. No. You know, you play baseball on asphalt, oh, yeah. football on Everything. asphalt. Everything was like, it's like, you mean all, all the shit nobody plays on mm-hmm. asphalt ever? Like, there is no professional <laughs> asphalt league. No, you play on this. And of course, 109 yep. degrees and be baking yep. out there. And if you ever hit the dirt, you got this big, weird tar scuff mm-hmm. on, on everything. But it was just like, what is the cheapest thing we can put down here where these guys can play? Yeah, we had the same thing. And of course, the argument that, you know, they wanted us to be safe. So they put wood chips under the playground. Mm. And now you have that beautiful, foamy, sprung rubber. It's just like a marshmallow. 
Yeah, they figured out that, you know, when you go over a, a property and you do that heat index thing from the helicopter and you see the big asphalt oh. parking lot of the Costco, it is red. Yeah, crack an egg. And then you go over a park and it's blue and green oh. and whatever. Like, they needed that. Mm-hmm. Yes, Brian. I, I had a repressed memory. Uh, Kaylin, get the picture of me ready from middle school uh, because uh, you guys, I don't know, Adam, out here it's a little more popular or commonplace. The uh, On the playground or on the, the yard of the school, they'll have the little area with tan bark and the climbing you know the climbing structure you can do monkey bars or mm-hmm. whatever and uh, me, uh, I used to hang out there with some other kids during school during recess lunch whatever and uh, one day uh, outside of school I was hanging out with a kid uh, who was younger than me uh, that's me uh, that, that, <laughs> that guy you look at was hanging out with a kid a younger kid and I was like hey you're coming to school next year uh, you know that's uh, that's usually where I hang out over there on the, uh, the tan bark area blah blah and the kid goes oh I have an older brother who goes to the school. He calls it Nerd Island. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're oh. the mayor of Nerd oh, Island. I, I, I mutter like, what? Well, I, I never heard that. Misfit. Oh, yeah, they didn't say it to your face. Oh, no. The misfit toys. Oh, my bad. Since we're on this kick, Kaylin, sorry, I just sent you a picture. I just posted, I, when I went home, I, we found this trash bag full of just old photos. And I put this one up on Instagram. This is what I'm talking about. We had, you know, cool shit. Like it was bars that were sort of welded in a way that made them look like a spider. Yeah, and yeah, you yeah. climb that and little girls, you know, we do backflips off of it and do all this crazy shit. Onto wood chips because that was the safest option. Yeah, so oh, the dome. Yeah, yeah. Geodesic. Young, young Gina with yeah. the wood chips. Always with the How wood chips. Are you? 12? Oh, God, no. Pro- I was, oh, God. You would want to kill me with fire when I was 12. I was very ugly. This is probably nine. Oh, I had nine. a tough pubescent yeah. transition. Well, Put the back up. It's a. <laughs> It's a hair thing. It's teeth. It's the whole thing. Yeah. 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 And teeth. I tried to do uh, bangs. You get it. Uh, yeah. Okay. My let's move then. on. Yeah. Okay. Um, Megan Markle is taking some flack for trying to trademark the word archetypes for her upcoming Spotify podcast called Archetypes. Uh, the Duchess says the series, which is part of her multi million dollar deal with that audio company, will dissect, explore, and subvert the labels that try to hold women back. You know, it's always yeah. weird. I mean, you get a multi-million dollar deal based on zero history of entertaining anybody mm. audibly. <laughs> I, does it feel a little bit weird? <laughs> she can mind the hell out of it. Yeah. yeah. It's almost like she's a princess or something. I, I know, but is it? F- I, I know everyone just takes it and runs with it now, but there are, are there any quiet moments? You know what I mean? It's like we're in the, the new era of the book deal. Remember, like you can nice. just be infamous and get ten million dollars to yeah. write a book. Can they write? Who cares? Yeah, I know. It's 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 a very close cousin to your dad is super famous right. and you get a gig. It, 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 it's people take it and run with it, and they seem to enjoy it or own it or something, but. It's a very distant cousin to uh, affirmative action. Like we need a vice mm. president who's a female and black. Like, does that feel good to her? Like, I, I they always embrace uh. it. But is, are there some quiet moments where they go like, I'm not really shouldn't. I'm only here because of these two things that I didn't really control. Well, or in the era of Kim Kardashian being a fucking huge celebrity. Uh, 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 a celebrated celebrity uh, off off of a sex tape. I think as long as you're <laughs> in the door, as long as you're in that club, uh, everything else behind you be damned. You know what I mean? You're no. there. Yeah. I still argue that she ha- had more to do with that. I mean, she was in the sex tape. I, I get it. She's well, so, well, my point herself. is, it's not how you get there. It's just the fact yeah, that you're there. Yeah, you I know. You just door. married this guy, and now yeah. you got a multi-million dollar deal to do podcasting. Well, if she, if the trademark went through, um, the word archetypes would be protected for use in entertainment services of podcasting, audio, visual, web series, on-demand streaming, live stage performances. You can't use the word without uh, paying her. Oh. But the filing has garnered lots of criticism. The Daily Mail calling it an attempt to stop anyone else from using a word which first appeared in the English language 470 years ago uh, after deciding to use it for her podcast oh, title. Hot, hot breaking cracker. Oh. Jill's Jill yeah. news. Peanuts and Cracker Jacks declined over time. That's oh. why we haven't had Cracker Jacks in a long time. Used to be 25 to 30 in, in 05, the Seattle Times found that the boxes averaged about six peanuts. So they've been. <gasps> no shit. Well, oh, I'm persistent. guessing it's the most expensive part. Sure. Of the of the box, even though they're cheap, 
Well, just by still, it's yeah. it's cheap and cheaper. I mean, but not as a kernel of corn. A kernel of corn has got to be quite a bit cheaper and takes up twice the space. Right, so if right. you're making it. And again, you're you're selling plywood or doing crack you have millions and billions of units. Mm-hmm. This, Volume that is is adding up. Wow. No, Frito Lay said they would up the count, but gave no specific number because I I guess uh, the folks at the Seattle Times blew the lid. Oh, Cracker Jack off Gate that box, yeah, that's right. Um, if you're looking for something special to toast to the fact that the baseball season is actually happening now, Whistle Pig might have something for you. And I would love to get Dan Dunn's take on this. A whiskey aged in barrels containing the toasted maple wood baseball bats of David Big Poppy Ortiz. Fewer than 100 barrels of this Big Not Poppy a rye whiskey. pieces of lead or shell casing. <laughs> Pine will be tar. bottled and sold, <laughs> okay. yeah. So it's not just a bottle of booze. It's like a little collector's item, and uh, you get to say it was it was in the bat, the vat with the bat. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's really, really good whiskey. And, and yeah. bourbon and rye. I've so never no had rye whiskey and went, there's not enough bat in this. <laughs> I mean, it's smoky. Not enough Louisville slugger. Yeah. You choke up. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure it's good because everything they make is good. This is kind of drifting into the Cracker Jill thing. Like, do they mean it? Is this another grab? Is is everything just a grab and well, a click and some something? Maybe. But remember when we were, well, you might not remember. Brian, when we were in Vegas doing the Whiskey X. No, um, I do remember. Okay. Um, and Dan took was me around. Huh? Was that you guys there? there. I, it's hard to remember. <laughs> um, and I we got to taste the Metallica one that they mm-hmm. said was Blackened. literally sung to mm. by different songs and that it makes a difference. The so, vibration. Yeah, so who knows? Perhaps the, the baseball bat makes a difference. You know what I think when these, and not not to do with whiskey, but back to um, Cracker, uh, Jacks. Cracker Jill. What, <laughs> what they do is they, I think that, I think the way you do it is you take your product, you, you wokenize it, <laughs> And you basically Wolf feed guys. it mm-hmm. to the conservative news outlets, oh. and then they go, "God they damn, go everything is yeah. woke these right. days. Can't we just right. have an America mm-hmm. where you can eat a regular cracker jack?" And it, you really, it's a backdoor way to a bunch of press. Yes, because yeah. yep. the, the 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 CNNs of the world go, "Yeah, all right, what else? Sure. It's Tuesday. Right. Who cares?" Well, the last time we thought about but, cracker jacks, but you give it to the the right, and they go, "My God, another one of these," and right. they run with right. it. And so I think these guys know what they're doing, but but what they're doing is not going, we'd like to be in a more progressive, inclusive. Mm-hmm. They're really going, let's just fucking piss yeah. off Sean yeah. Hannity. Free and then press. he'll talk about our shit. He's like number one in his time slot. Our logo's going to be all over he'll our show. Dedicate 10 minutes to this shit. Uh, and when's the last time you thought about Cracker Jacks? That's my whole 30 years? point. And it's funny, they will... The right will accuse them of just, oh, this progressive movement. It never ends. That's not what they're doing. Mm. They're agitating I like to it. get onto your network. Smart. Yeah. Very smart. Savvy. Yeah. Like when, remember, uh, there was a rash of uh, companies starting with like Twinkies. It was like, oh, Twinkies is going, out, it's going to be gone. Yeah. It's going to go away. And like, now sales go up 300%. Or whatever right. Well, and what was it? Disneyland Paris put Minnie in a pantsuit, and that was that was a story for three weeks on Fox. Yeah. So I think do. you're right. Um well, let's continue talking about sports. Unfortunately, we do have another uh, referee getting his ass beat mm. at a youth game, mm. but now by a new uh, criminal. Definitely not a Jew. Yeah, mm. TMZ reports that several youth basketball players beat up a referee following a game in Georgia over the weekend. So it wasn't the parents. It wasn't a coach. It was the team. It was kids. And the violent punching and kicking was all captured on video. I'll show you in a second. The whole thing went down um, at Stronghold Christian Church in Lithonia, Georgia. And after the game, multiple players from one of the teams went after the game's ref. Um, it was reported that they're about they're about eighth graders. Mm-hmm. And the whole thing was captured on video. Several young players and bystanders who were uh, there, um, they caught it, but they still don't know why it happened. The ref needs or needed 30 30 stitches to stop the bleeding. Wow. Um, here's the video. You can kind of... They're chasing him? Yep. They're taking big, crazy swings at it him? It gets worse. Oh, he, he decked tried one to take of the kids. Back. Well, he's, at this point, he's being besieged. And now there's, there's eight, what? Ten yeah. kids jumping on him. Just uh, kicking him while he's... And the, re- the other ref's just kind of hanging oh, out. the other ref's got to jump in. He, go- he 
blew the whistle. Well, <laughs> you are a ref. Then there's, there's the chick two ref. Two other refs hanging out. A couple of high fives from the kids as they disperse. Uh, every one of those kids has to be identified and go through a nice scared straight oh, encounter. Those are the best. The, I am sorry. What that is. those? That, I know. That is the new season of scaring Scared kids. Straight. Stars these kids from Georgia open a can of whoop ass on the referee. We'll put all 11 of them up there and have some gal guy yelling, give me your eyeball or pop his eyeball pop out. Give me your shoes. Give me your yeah. shoes. I, I, that, we, we need this. You're right, because I've noticed, because I'm a big fan of the series, mm. that a lot of times, like, it's, it's, a, it's a harmless crime. Like, what are you in for? Oh, this kid disrespected his mother. You disrespected your mother. You didn't eat the dinner that she provided. Mm. And it's like, no, 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 no. This guy beat the shit out of a referee and sent him to the hospital. Yeah. We need to get back to the, the real problem, kids. Maybe we'll start in Florida under Ron DeSantis' tutelage, you know? I think that would be wise. You cocktail, yummy boy? <laughs> Hold on. Scared straight and the next generation. Literally. You know scared I mean? straight. Yeah, it's just a new <laughs> yeah, point why of they call, I knew what I was scared doing. Scared very straight. Yeah, why didn't they call the gay conversion camp scared straight? I They, they left it's money right on there. the table. It was like it was Meghan right, Markle right, right in front of their the, uh, face. <laughs> yeah. I'd watch that show too. Oh, I would pay any amount of money. All Put right. that dick down. <laughs> <laughs> Let's bring it home. <laughs> you got it. I'm Gina Grad, and that's the news. You're done with daddy issues. Gina, Gina, Grad. That was the news with Gina Grad. Well, last but not least, there's stamps.com, your small business. Well, it's not small to you. You can't afford to miss opportunities to grow. Stamps.com. Skip the post office trip and focus on your small business. Print official postage right from your computer. Spend less time at the post office and more time making your customers happy. Plus, discounts you can't find anywhere else like up to 40 percent off usps rates and 76 percent off ups rates we use it here we've always used it here we've been with these guys for well over a decade whether you're in office sending invoices a side hustle etsy shop or a full-blown warehouse shipping out orders stamps.com it's going to make your life easier. Am I right, Dawson? Stop overpaying for shipping with Stamps.com. Sign up with promo code Adam for a special offer that includes a four-week trial, free postage, and a digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to Stamps.com, click the microphone at the top of the page, and enter code Adam. All right. Uh, Neil McDonough's new film, Boone, is available in theaters and on demand. And digital release, say, uh, prefer, so it's out as we speak. And Matt the Porcelain Punisher Fondelier taking his talents to Texas. He shall be missed. I'll be in Indianapolis at Helium Comedy Club May 6th and 7th. Go to mcurl.com for all the live shows. And until next time, it's Adam Curl for Neil McDonough, Gina Grad, Matt the Porcelain Punisher Fondelier, and Bob Ryan Say it. Mahala. Smells burning in your eyes. No one can shit like Matt Fondly. Matt Fondly.